Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith and it is time to have a look at the Save-A-Lot and Aldi ad again. We're going to start off with the Save-A-Lot ad as is tradition for our little Wednesday mornings. So right away the first thing that we see is 69 cent fresh drumsticks or thighs in the family pack. Family pack for the most part means a five pound pack. So I totally recommend thighs over drumsticks because more people like it and there is a higher bone to meat ratio. So while you might be getting the same amount of bone, you're getting more meat as well. So um, whereas you're paying for less meat and more bone with the drumsticks. So it, to me, the thigh is the better deal. Also, I feel like I say this a lot, but if you're new, this is the best tip that I have for this, is buy the five pound family tray break it up into meal size portions where everyone gets a thigh, one for each person in the house, whether that's a single person and you use just a, like a sandwich bag size, or if you're putting four in a bag or six in a bag, whatever your family size is, break it down and keep one set for this week and then all the rest of them go in the freezer so that you can pull out one meal instead of having to thaw out 16 at once and an entire tray and then trying to have to use them so that you get kind of tired of them. That's the great tip with this. Uh, 10 pound bag for $2.49, yes, that's a great price. Also with these, I'm a big advocate of doing the prep cooking one day where you do, I like the crock pot, the instant pot is great for it too, where you load it up and you make say one potato for each person for maybe two or three meals during the week. Um, and then you just have to reheat them because they're already cooked all the way through, which is great because when you come home in the evening, you can pop them in the oven for 15 or 20 minutes when you're making that 30 minute meal. It's right in. People feel like you spent an hour or more with a great baked potato. Add something nice and um, makes meals feel like not so quick serve, even though totally quick serve. So down here, we have a couple things. Mangoes, two for a dollar. Not bad for 50 cents each. They are delicious. Tomatoes are not terribly priced either. They are in season, so this is going to be something that's going to taste better than usual. If you have a coupon for this, this could be a great, great thing. Save-A-Lot does take name brand coupons if they have those things. Um, $2.99 for bacon. Not terrible. Uh, $1.49 bone-in pork butt steaks or country-style ribs. This is a good price for both of these, but they're, those two things are not my most favorite because they tend to just be fatty or more difficult. So if you got these, I would recommend the Instant Pot for this because it's going to cook it in a reasonable amount of time, but it's going to be much more tender. It's going to be better for that type of application. $1.99 for the 73% lean ground beef. This is a five pound family pack, so that's coming in trays. So that's a tray, not a tube. I know there are some people that watch that prefer the, tr the tray to the tube, so that's an even better deal, although it does say right here that it might not be available in all stores, so check your store for that, but that's a good price. That's the stuff you make meatloaf out of, by the way. Now down here is all dairy stuff. Um, these are not particularly what I would consider on sale, but it is a... Please be aware that these products are here. Um, I don't eat dairy. I have a serious problem with lactose. <laughs> and also I have a protein allergy to whey and to casein. Or casein. Uh, so these don't really work for me. So look at them. Make decisions for your family. My family is not going to go with this. Now I will tell you that these may be something that may get into my kids' lunches because my kids have asked for those. So that's something I have kind of my eye on. Now over here, again, these are not really on sale. Um, I don't believe that you should be buying a box of these ever. I think that you should spend that one, one day a month is how I really feel about this doing pancakes or waffles literally it's the same batter it's whether you have the waffle maker or you want to do it over the just over the pan and you should be making these and freezing them for the toaster I'm gonna tell you 
I do it and it is one of the best things for my family because it makes a special breakfast. I know, snap, snap, it just makes it a snap. So I'm not really into all of these, so. On the back page, lunch stuff, kind of a quick, quick serve things. These are 32 uh, count Frito packs, $8.99. Ouch, I'm gonna do some math. Okay, so I did the math on these and these are 28 cents a piece. Yeah. Um, again, I really feel like, I mean, if you need the convenience, there is always a trade-off in life. Aldi's last week, maybe even this week, has some chips on sale and you're always gonna get the best deal if you just take the chips out and put them in a Ziploc bag and stick them in a lunchbox as opposed to getting this. So that's what I would opt to do. It's a choice. Um, but they have a lot of things that are limited time, Pop-Tarts, Capri Suns. Capri Suns I know are also a big lunch thing. Um, two for six dollars and these are the big packs which means it's really like four and these are comparable to $1.59 actually let's stop and do some math again okay so there's 12 in each big pack so two of them would be 24 that makes them 25 cents per uh, double pack which is not bad um, it's actually um, comparable to the Aldi's so in this case it might be as good a value even if it was just slightly more getting the name brand than buying the Aldi's ones because if you watch this you know that we eat the Nutty Buddies I don't eat the Nutty Buddies, but Nutty Buddies are a huge deal in my family. So, that's a thing. I just feel like these are the most hilarious thing ever. Larry the Cable Guy ribs, they make me just laugh. Like, who buys these? People that watch Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. They probably taste great. But, um, this, I will say, is a go time deal for your one pound of sausage mild or hot mild should be the breakfast kind hot should be the kind that you use in your spaghetti sauce um dollar 99 anytime it's under two dollars it's a go price for me so that is the roundup with save a lot best deal potatoes chicken thighs good to go on that one so let's have a look at the aldi's ad okay so aldi's has some good things here um now they're tomatoes on the vine which are different than these they cost a little bit more but if you like the on the vine it is a good price for that i still would go with this dollar 49 for strawberries really isn't that bad considering we're really kind of out of season for that we're just at the tail end of those good price for that so kind of have enjoy the last of the strawberries down here Sliced white mushrooms, 99 cents per 8 ounce sliced pack. Okay, so two things I like about this is sliced, number one. Number two, it's a good price. Get a couple of these and how you would cook and preserve them so that you could buy them now and then use them later is you would essentially fry them in butter until they were cooked, put them in a, in a container, in a container, and just let them cool. And when they were cooled, you would either use a container like this and put them in the freezer or put them in a Ziploc bag. I'm a big fan of the Ziploc bag because you can lay it flat. You might even be able to use like a snack size or a half size bag, especially if you're just using it for a single person uh, or a couple. You might not want to use the entire package. But uh, another thing that you can do is uh, stroganoff. So if you did get some of these, you could cook the meat and shred it or cut it in cubes and make stroganoff with it with this so that is an option I know sometimes connecting the dots for the things that are on sale is really helpful um, grapes at 89 cents great price that's a go price uh, now you'll see here this fresh lean ground beef is a dollar 99 here at Aldi's it is the same price here at save a lot now if you can get it in the tray that's probably that's going to be better than in the tube which this might be but I'm going to tell you I buy this stuff in the tube I just I feel like it's okay um, like I said if you're going to be doing a meatloaf especially if you're going to be mixing ground beef with something like ground turkey or a sausage this is going to help 
with um, moisten your meat, um, your um, your meatloaf. Yes, that's what I mean, your meatloaf. But I meant to say, like your breadcrumbs or your rice, whatever you're putting in there. So that's a go price too. If you don't have a save a lot, just get it at all these. That's simple. Um, down here, garden mums, not food. So we're gonna, I'm gonna leave them alone. A couple things. These are all in my mind super expensive. Anything thin cut is always super expensive. Eight dollars for lamb chops. They're always tiny. Whatever. Chicken parmesan cutlass. Oh, so if you want to do this, here's how you do it. Here's how you do this. You buy regular chicken cutlets, or heck, you even buy this and do it. What you do is you get seasoned breadcrumbs. You can get it at Save a Lot, Aldi's, like any grocery store. It's pretty darn cheap. They're like two bucks. Put in a quarter cup of this. You can even dump this in there and just keep it like that, but then you have to refrigerate this. But um, I say a cup of this uh, and then like an eighth or a quarter cup of this, depending on how much Parmesan you like. And you know what? You dip it in egg and then this coating and it costs you like eight cents to coat it for the whole meal. So don't be fooled into paying four fifty a pound for chicken. Ouch. You shouldn't be paying more than two dollars a pound for any kind of chicken. Okay, so on the inside here we have our cheese on sale, which is a big deal if you like to do your pizza, your homemade pizza, um, just salad, cheese, that sort of thing. Also, here is a big thing I'm a fan of these pizzas. Um, I will tell you right now that the big ones do not fit in my freezer. If I leave them in the pepper uh, in this cardboard box, I open them, and inside the pizza is shrink wrapped to a, a cardboard disc. If I take the disc, that will fit in my refrigerator, freezer, and my deep freeze downstairs, so that I can buy some of these and stock up. So that's something that you should think of as an option. Like it might be a good time to buy one of these on sale, pull it out, see if it fits. And then you'll know for next time, even if you just bake it and eat it right then, you can size it and check. So that's a good thing. Something also that I want to tell you is anytime you see a price that's red and yellow, that means it's actually on sale at Aldi's. Sometimes Aldi's will do little, these prices are like kind of all on sale, which is amazing. Like every single price in this ad is actually on sale which doesn't happen. Sometimes they have whole pages of white and yellow or white and red, which means not actually on sale. So, um, almonds are on sale. They're actually on pretty good price. So if you're doing keto, almonds, good stuff. 75 cent hot dog buns. We kind of talked about this last time. Put these in the freezer and then when you pull them out, I put them in the oven and defrost slash toast them together everyone thinks I went extra fancy and I'm making extra housewife work for myself when really what I'm doing is I'm making a frugal thing seem extra fancy I'm saving money I'm impressing the folks winning so that's the way I feel about that loaf and fresh bread again is back to school time if you are doing peanut butter sandwiches freezer time now is the time to load up on this stuff make those sandwiches get them in the freezer for those lunches you can do like two months ahead of time so if you want to buy five or six dollars worth of bread loaves get it done 99 cent chips <laughs> these are like never never a better price at all these also same thing here with this uh that's mango habanera i don't really care for the that the too hot stuff but chips and salsa that salsa is a stinking great price over here on the next page, not food things. I don't usually spend too much time talking about the non-food things. Um, sometimes they're real good. Sometimes I'm just kind of like, meh. So on the back page, again, I feel like we have kind of like lunchy, quick servey things. And sometimes when I see stuff like this to me is a lunch item, but I see it more for a work lunch like when you're at work and you have access to a microwave as opposed to sending it with your kids for lunch but this is a kids lunch item this is a lunch item that you can take um, I'm not seeing anything that is just knocking my socks off with the exception of the cereal I feel like that's a good price 
you can always go in and check and see when these expire and just get as many as you can consume between now and that date so that you have them stocked up good stuff so right now for all these some of the best deals the ground beef the strawberries and the white sliced mushrooms big fans of all of those don't buy this but take inspiration from this and you could do something with those uh, cheap chicken breasts that you got in your freezer right here super simple and when you buy these two things you can make 50 million meals out of these so anyway that's inspiration for this week so that is the ads for this week I hope this was informative for you take a moment to click down in the cursor or it, your cursor down in the comments pause it tell me what you think was the best thing that you saw on sale in my ads then tell me were your ads the same was it the same was it only drumsticks uh, were your potatoes the same price did you have something down here tell me what you thought the tell me the differences between your ads and mine and what you think the best thing in your ads were all right guys thanks for watching and I will see you next time